is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below hey sag what's up welcome to your reading this is for sagittarius someone rising in venus let's see what's going on in your connection from the 21st of august to the end of august 2021 it is a general reading guys this may or may not resonate if it doesn't check out your other placements some of the energies of the cards are going to be flipped so feel free to switch those energies vice versa if you need a personal reading you can dm me on instagram or you can reach me out on my email which is given below in the description box right all right Sagittarius let's see who's coming towards you in love what's going on in your connection on the shuffle Sagittarius from the 21st of August to the end of August 2021 this is Sagittarius okay all right okay Sagittarius let's see how do you see yourself in this connection with the person you're dealing with how do you see yourself in this connection with the person you're dealing with how do you see yourself in this connection with the person you're dealing with? One more card. How does Sagittarius see themselves in this connection with the person they're dealing with? Sagittarius, I feel that you are at the position where you're like, you know what, I want what I want and I'm not... Ex ex I'm not accepting anything less than that. You want things to be fair. Maybe things weren't fair with you. Maybe it was a one-sided situation. Maybe this person did not give you a commitment or they didn't give you what you deserve, okay? You were treated unfairly. But now you're coming off from a point where, you know what, I want what I want. You've stopped investing into this connection out here. I don't think you're wanting to work with this person right now. There's a lack of wanting to come together with this person here is what I'm getting here. I feel right now you're coming off from a place where you want to be alone. You don't want to have a reconciliation with this person. There could be a chance where you're probably there's a third person that has come between you and the person you're dealing with right now. Okay, Saj. But right now I feel you're very focused on your own financial independence. You've completely withdrawn your energies from this person. Okay. Focused on your financial stability, security. But right now you probably think this was a bad investment with this person out here. Okay. Because things weren't fair here with the justice here. You would want a brand new beginning with this person out here with the Ace of Pentacles because yeah probably you would want commitment with them okay right now you've reached a point where you are very very stable emotionally earlier i feel that there was a lack of emotional stability from your side probably you were very moody you had a lot of resentment hurt coming from your side okay a lot of fear trust issues but i think now you're coming off as someone who's you know emotionally very very balanced you have your head and heart in place you're very balanced no more mood swings you know you're trying to um look at the situation with this person out here from a point of balance okay so yeah you the love is there you feel deep down um a lot of emotions for them but you're not ready to show it and you just don't want to show it okay because probably there was a third person here between you you and this person but there is this loneliness is also what i'm getting here okay there's some loneliness out here but i think you're just not ready to reconcile with this person out here okay let's see how does this person see themselves in this connection with sagittarius how does this person see themselves in this connection with Sagittarius? How does this person see themselves in this connection with Sagittarius? Oh my God. The person you're dealing with is a control freak, okay? This person out here has a very hard time letting go of control. I feel you have left the building out here, okay, and this person has no control over you, which is why this person probably feels, you know, very insecure and they want control over you anyhow. With the judgment here, the four of wands in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse, this person is very, very guilty, okay? They're feeling very guilty about what happened between you both, whether there was a third party situation or whether you guys were just, you know, uh, not on the same page, whatever it may be. There is a lack of commitment from this person's side and this person is very aware of it okay they know that there is a lack of stability here there's a lack of commitment here but with the judgment here this person definitely wants a second chance with you okay they want to try this again with you they want a second chance uh but this is someone here again like i said right they're more like my way on the highway my way on the highway so i feel that this person wants you they want to come back towards you they want to come out clean they want to start you know turn a new leaf but it's like they want you on their own terms 
is what I'm getting here. With the Emperor in reverse here, Page of Cups in reverse, and the King of Swords. See, this person clear has a lot of mental clarity now, okay? They want to communicate with you. If not, this is someone here who finally knows what they want, okay? But when it comes to opening up emotionally, they have a very hard time opening up emotionally, okay? They're not ready for that emotional expression, okay? You're probably someone who's very expressive all this while, and you learned your lesson the hard way, which is why now you're closed off. This person out here has never opened up, okay? It's just that they're just not ready to open up that way. Way. and uh, they're not the best at expressing their emotions they're more logical okay and they'll always keep trying to run away from you okay trying, trying to run away from commitment trying to run away from getting into any kind of emotional attachment out here so that's about this person out here let's see how do you feel for this person deep down tell me how does Sagittarius feel for this person deep down that they're dealing with how does Sagittarius feel for this person that they're dealing with deep down how does Sagittarius feel for this person deep down how does Sagittarius feel for this person deep down? How does Sagittarius feel for this person deep down? Okay, nine of swords in reverse. Eight of swords in reverse. Give me one more card. One more card. card please beautiful all right so we have the nine of swords in reverse with the eight of swords in reverse and the four of wands in reverse see you both know there is a lack of commitment okay you both know that you also know that there is a lack of stability security here this person probably isn't taking the initiative okay to come towards you and give you that uh, security that you need all this while okay now, I do feel here that what you're doing here is you're learning to cope, okay? You're facing life, you're facing um, the situation for what it is. Maybe earlier you had a lot of uh, stress, fear, anxiety, you were reaching your breaking point out here, okay? You had a lot of nightmares, sleepless nights about this person, what was going on between you both. But slowly but steadily, you're releasing yourself from this situation that you felt very stuck, tied and bound to. You probably felt very restricted to this person, very restricted to this connection, but you're slowly getting your shit together. You're slowly trusting your intuition here. And it's probably like a realization where, okay, you know that there is no stability here. There is no commitment out here. You would want this, okay? Yes, you would want this but now it's like you feel like it was a waste of investment here okay but you're coping with the breakup you're coping with the separation and trying to get out and you know trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel here with the page of cups in reverse the ace of swords in reverse and the lovers in reverse oh my god so you were there's a situation where you were more emotionally involved with this person out here b there was a lack of clarity here okay so this person lacked communication they didn't give you the clarity there was uh, a lot of confusion is what i'm getting here okay because there was no communication from this person's side someone out here was very very determined to not open up about what they want here but there was a definitely a lack of new start here okay it could be someone who was dishonest here but with a page of cups and reverse you too are not wanting to open up to this person okay which is why things are not moving forward right now okay let's see what is um wow the two of cups wanted to come out so it's like the connection is very very strong between you both there's a very strong romantic emotional connection between you both okay this is a soulmate connection all right, uh, which is why it becomes very hard for you to move on from this person or let this, let whatever happen, let it go. How does this person feel deep down? Okay, how does this person feel deep down for Sagittarius? How does this person feel deep down for Sagittarius? How does this person feel deep down for Sagittarius? Six of Swords in Reverse, Knight of Swords in Reverse, and the Ace of Cups in Reverse. This person clearly wants to talk to you. This person wants to come towards you with an offer. They, more than an offer, I think this person here is wanting to invest into you, okay? Because they can't move on from you. But the problem here is, you know, even if they can't move on from you, they're still not doing what is required for them to do in order for them to come towards you correctly. If you get what I'm saying. There is something that is required here from this person here, okay? But this person keeps uh, 
resisting that change is what I'm getting. They keep resisting the change. They're still stuck in the past here, okay? So what happens is this person tries to run away from their problems. Instead of, uh, you know, um, accepting the lessons that they need to learn so that they can move things forward with you, I think they keep uh, making the road even more tougher. You know, they make the, the, the journey even more tougher than it seems. They're making it very difficult for themselves out here, okay? Which is why they can't move on. With the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel this person feels the need to talk to you, okay? This person would want to talk to you like immediately they know the situation needs the attention out here okay but for some reason this person keeps holding back communication they're very tactless okay i feel this person's a little arrogant a little ruthless when it comes to communication here not the best at expressing at expressing their emotions a little aggressive person is what i see here but yeah this person probably is someone here you know who comes into your life very aggressively or you guys could have a lot of intense arguments but what i'm seeing here is that even though this person knows this situation needs their attention the communication they're holding back okay because, and which is why they're missing opportunities with you here with the ace of cups in reverse here either this person has had a bad past okay because of which they lack forgiveness okay they lack self-love okay and uh, so they feel that they are not worth you which is why they come towards you every single time and they want to keep sucking off all the energy the vibrations from you the love from you okay because they feel very empty deep down and you are fed up of that because now you feel empty. You feel you have nothing to give, okay? And this person out here with the Ace of Cups in reverse here, they're just not ready to um, open up, okay? This is someone who's very depressed. This is someone who lacks self-love. Someone who's very upset. A very negative thinker also is what I'm getting here, okay? They look at love in a very pessimistic way. Page of Pentacles, Justice, and the Two of Cups. Look how much this person loves you here. Okay, look how much they love you. I think with the nine of wands in reverse here, this person feels that you've given up on them here. But with the justice and two of cups here, I feel this person wants to make things right with you. Okay, they know that the connection is mutual right now. All right, whether you express it or not, they know that you both love each other uh, a lot out here. With the justice here, this person definitely wants to make things fair out here. All right. But probably with the world card also that I saw, they know that there was a chapter that ended between you both. OK. And probably they just lacked the energy to hold on to this connection out here only because they were very stubborn, I feel, and lacking compromise is what I'm getting from this side out here. OK. Um, OK. Let's see. But this person definitely wants to communicate with you, okay? Probably with an apology. Uh, the kind of communication that they would want to come towards you is a very casual communication. So probably it's more like, hey, what's up? Like, how are you? You know, something like that. But deep down, this is what they want. You know, they want, they, they love you. But they want to make the approach towards you very casual, okay? Because they fear rejection is also what I'm getting. And they probably see as you ended a chapter with them. So they don't know if you're going to accept them back. Okay. Let's see what action will this uh, will Sagittarius take towards the person they're dealing with? What action will Sagittarius take with the person that they're dealing with? What action will Sagittarius take moving forward? What action will Sagittarius take moving forward towards the person they're dealing with? One more card. One more card, three one more card, please. Okay, Saj, um, you're moving forward. You're willing to change. You're no longer wanting to hold on to this person out here or hold on to anything that doesn't serve you or doesn't make you happy. You're willing to move forward out here. You feel life is changing and you're ready to grasp any more opportunities that come towards your way. But you're definitely trying to move away from this person out here because I feel this is someone here you felt with the seven of pentacles and reverse here a waste of time. OK, either you're very impatient to make things happen with this person because this person's just taking too long to come towards you or you just feel it was a waste of time. And there's a lot of disappointment in this situation. And probably this has been a situation which has been disappointing for you over and over and over again. The other thing I see here with the star in reverse is that I think you lack a lot of hope and faith out here. It could be that there is, uh, you know, uh, the universe is working behind the scenes, okay, and there's something going on behind the scenes where your angels are working or the universe is doing something, you know, for you, but uh, it's testing your faith. But right now you've reached a point where you have no faith, no hope that things will work out with this person out here and you're just ready to make that shift, you know, ready to make that 180 degrees turn and you're just moving forward, no longer wanting to wait for this person. Strength, temperance in reverse, <laughs> the fool. You're taking a leap of faith. You're taking a leap of faith out here. It's like 
you're taking a big risk it's like no no longer wanting to wait for this person to come towards you okay because i think with the temperance in reverse you're 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 lacking patience i mean I, i'm not gonna lie you're lacking patience and i think you're more like being reckless this this action of yours is coming off as very reckless is what i'm getting here you're being very hasty you know so there's like this extreme action it's more like you want like are we doing this or not you know you just want a fucking yes or no you don't want to listen to anything that they have to say you don't want to listen to any justifications if not i just think you're like you know what i don't even want to know what's really going on whether this person contacts me or not I'm just moving forward. So that's what's happening here from your side. Okay. Patience is required here. But with the strength here, I think you're putting in your 120% to hold on to this temptation when this person comes back towards you. You're holding on to your strength. You're trying to tame the situation, you know, tame that passion, that uh, love, emotions that you have for this person right now. Okay. But you're doing your best to hold back. And with a fool here, I feel you're just trying to uh, take that risk, okay, and start a brand new chapter in your life without this person. With the high priestess in reverse here, there are chances that either there was something that was revealed to you, there could be some information that was revealed to you, or you just have a hard time trusting your intuition because probably you trusted your intuition in the past and um, it didn't work out. Okay, let's see. Okay, what action will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? What action will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? Wow. Nine of Cups. What action will this person take towards Sagittarius moving forward? What action will this person take? Damn. This person is still lacking the confidence here because with the moon card here, three of wands and the nine of cups here, they want to move towards their wish fulfillment. Okay, they want to move towards their wish fulfillment. You are the one who is their wish fulfillment. You make them very, very happy. No one compares to you. Yes, this person does come off as a little selfish. Okay, they want you to themselves. They want you when they want you. Okay, uh, when it comes to emotional happiness, you're the one for them. Okay, they don't feel this connection with anybody at all. With the three of wands here, I feel this person A wants to travel towards you. This could be a long distance relationship, but there's a lot of brainstorming. Okay, there's a lot of planning going on in their head. Okay, and I think the planning is something which takes a lot of patience. Okay, which is why you're getting impatient because probably you don't know what's really going on in their head. Okay, they're not ready to completely come towards you, but I feel this person does want growth here. Okay, they're looking ahead, they're wanting to see how they can grow and expand with you. They're trying to brainstorm, trying to make a lot of plans. Okay, of what they can do to achieve their wish fulfillment, which is you. Um, but with the moon here, this person is still not sure about how to make this happen. They have a lot of love here, but there's a lot of doubt okay because things probably did work out in the past with you so the doubt is stemming from a point where yes i love this person i love Saj, but will there be anything in the future okay or uh, there's like unknown energy between you both is what i'm getting here okay but this person is kind of suppressing their feelings right now trying to trust their intuition and hold they're just holding on to their intuition right now okay because everything's in the dark right now and their intuition is probably the only thing that is guiding them okay and their intuition is guiding them towards you with the eight of wands in reverse, the king of cups in reverse and eight of swords here. Wow. This person right now, okay, I feel like they want a future with you and they're going to come towards you with that very direct energy. Okay. That they're wanting to come towards you, but it's like uh, they're coming off from a point where they want to be, they're being very cold, logical, you know, and trying to just shut off their emotional emotions. Okay. This is someone here who's having a hard time opening up, emotionally unavailable. Okay. But they feel very restricted to you. There's something that's either restricting them from coming towards you or they just feel very restricted, stuck and tied to you, okay? Where it's like, I can't think about anyone else except Sagittarius. That's the only person that I have in mind and that's my only wish fulfillment out here. But with the Eight of Wands in reverse here, I feel this person's buying time. They want to come towards you with clarity, but I think they're buying time right now, okay? Like with the Three of Wands here, right? This person wants to try and see where things are going, but they want to make an offer you that you can't deny is what I'm getting. It's like, how do I get this person back for good? Uh, you know what? I need to clarify a few things. Let me just clarify. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's this? Um, why is the... Uh, family could be a problem between you guys. Tradition could be a problem. Age difference. Something like that. But I feel that there could be a few things that could be between you both which is stopping them from committing towards you. Could be someone who's a commitment for 
but I don't feel that much. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's the uh, the moon here? What's the moon here? Why is the moon card here? See, this person is trying to do a lot of... Uh, so they don't know if this is going to be an equal give and take. Wow. This person here is wanting to balance things out, okay? This person here is not sure if they can... They probably feel it's a one-sided situation right now. They know that they took advantage of the situation here, but this person right now is not... Um, uh, you know, they know it was imbalanced out here, but this person's watching you from a distance. Okay, maybe they're keeping an eye on you. Now, keeping an eye does not always mean that they're stalking you because a lot of people, you know, you all are like, you know, we've blocked them or something. Stalking does not always mean just stalking you on social media. This could also be where this person's trying to get more information about you through tarot readings. Maybe they're watching tarot readings, you know, just like you're doing. But this person's trying to get more information about what they can do, okay? But with nine, but with the nine of pentacles here, I feel this person here is wanting to bring in stability, success in this relationship right now, okay? But I think with the six of pentacles and reverse here, they don't know how to balance it, okay? I feel this person doesn't know how to balance it. Um... This is someone that you're dealing with who could be a little controlling lover is also what I'm getting here. But there is like there's this, this power dynamics, OK, and like imbalances which are creating big problems within your relationship. OK, and they know they're very much aware that this was a one sided situation here. They knew that there was something which was unfair here, which is why they're trying to get more information before they act towards you. But with the nine of pentacles here, I feel this person wants to make this a success out here. They want to bring in stability out here. OK, uh, but they're just trying to focus probably more on something else rather than you i think this person could be someone very focused on their money their career their goals also which is why right now they're just trying to you know just hold back and uh, just be very patient with what they can do but then action i feel you're moving forward because you just don't have faith that it'll work out because you put in your 100 percent and you feel it's just not working out so it's just not worth putting in any more effort out here this person out here is definitely choosing you they want you you're their wish fulfillment they're planning okay they're going to take some time before they come in okay so stay there and don't be impatient because this is going to take some time before you see the fruits of your uh, labor okay but with the moon here that unknown energy is something which puts them in a lot of doubts out here. Okay, that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and leave your comments below. Bye-bye.